Hello friend, Brenda here. You probably received your package and in the package you had your compact. This is a size eight, so it will hold four tens. This, I'm gonna show you a size 12. This is mine and it currently is full. So you're gonna see the tens inside of it. I'm gonna walk you through how to build your compact. So you've got your compact. What you're gonna do is you got a little baggie, right? You received a bag, it has the tins in it. So you might wanna revert back to when I sent you your color match, okay? Because what I want you to do is look at these tins. You're gonna notice that on the back, they have the name, and on the front down here, they're gonna have the name, okay? So what I like to tell you to do is to start with your contour first. So you're gonna look and you're gonna see that I recommended a contour for you and you grab the contour, okay? So you're gonna take, and we will, I like to start with it first in my compact because that's how I teach you typically how to apply your makeup. So you're gonna try to just like push it out of there. Don't press down on the top. You don't wanna like press down because it's cream in here. It's gonna be, if you press down on it, you might like tap it. You may notice when you get it, there's a little bit of a different color sometimes right there in the center. That's because these creams were like poured into this tin and where they like came up at, it's just like a little bit different as the like, the injector thing was doing it, okay? So we're gonna take that tin and we have your palette, whatever size you have, and you're gonna line it up and you're gonna start with that contour first, okay? Now you'll notice in my compact, I do have my, con my contour on the bottom down here but it would be like you doing it this way, okay? So contour down, depending on which side you got. Then, so we have our contour, we did it. I like to next go to my brightening shade or the accent shade, and I matched you to one of those two. So you're gonna take it, put it in there. These are magnetic, they're just gonna pop in there. You're gonna keep the lids if you want to. I love to tell you to keep the lids because when you transition into fall or winter or spring and you feel like your makeup's a little off, we might need to shade you down or up some way. You're gonna, if you still have it, you can take this tin and put it back in here if it just doesn't match anymore. And you can keep it in here until you need it again, okay? And then we're gonna take and drop, same thing, very easily remove it from the tin. So I'm gonna take, pull it up a little bit take it out. You're going to also notice it has a little bit of color. You might also notice these little like bumpy things in there. You might think something's wrong. I assure you those are just air bubbles from where the cream was warm and was put into the tin. Those are air bubbles, okay? It will apply fine. The makeup will work. There's nothing wrong with it. There's not anything uh, that shouldn't be there. And then this one is a gloss. So you're going to kind of see with our glosses, it may kind of look like when it dried, it's not like, it doesn't look like there's shimmer everywhere, but I promise you that when you use your brush or your finger and you tap into it, you're gonna get an even disbursement of the color. And it's almost kind of how it looks iridescent. -y. So you have your basic four tens here. If you were somebody that just started off with the four, this is what you have. You may have gotten a palette eight to add to it to be able to have more room. Maybe you have room here, you would put, I would say bronzer, powder, eyeshadows. I do recommend as you grow your collection, keeping your creams on the top and your powders on the bottom. So I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. So with my compact, I have my 3D foundation like I showed you, and then I have my three lip and cheeks over here. I always keep at least three lip and cheeks in my compact because I like to mix them together. I like to use one as a cheek, sometimes one as a lip. I just like to be able to have options. And then on my bottom, you'll see I do have my bronzer here with my others. Typically, I keep like this cream separate, um, but when I'm using the size 12, I like to keep my bronzer here. I have an illuminator our setting powder, and then six eyeshadows that can give me a few different looks. So this is how my palette looks. This is how I keep it when I'm using a 